that's great news. Great news. Oh, I'm sure he'll be very excited to tell us all about it himself. He's got to be on his way home now. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Guess what? Your dad got a big promotion at work. You know that project he's been talking about for the past couple of weeks? Cool. Does that mean we'll be moving? Probably. You know what it also means? We get two weeks holiday. So he'll be home for a while. I doubt it. I probably want to go someplace where he can take his fly fishing. Where? Where? I don't know where. Good question. But I bet it'll be in some godforsaken lake in the middle of nowhere, where it's going to take all day to get there by car. And then we'll be staying in a dingy little cabin, rustic, of course. And there'll be no electricity. And then they'll expect me to cook on a wood-burning stove. Will there be Wi-Fi? No, there won't. And if I were you, I wouldn't bring that up. But you know what there will be? It's wood smoke and mosquitoes. Sounds kind of gross. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know what I was thinking about? That really nice hotel in Cannon Beach that we spent that one night in last year. In Oregon? Do you think Dad will want to go there? Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Big news, I'm gonna be project manager on that job up at Campbell River, and guess what? I've got two weeks off before it starts. That's great news! Oh, finally that promotion you've been hoping for. Just a sec, okay? You're not gonna believe this. Bill just walked in and he's been given two weeks off. We probably could drive up there for tomorrow. Absolutely. I'll give you a call later with all the details and I'll just check in with, yeah, with Bill. Who was that? My cousin Eileen. They've invited us over for a few days, and I thought perfect timing since you've got some time off now. Eileen. Yeah. You like Eileen? Eileen, sure, but Roger? You just have to avoid talking politics. Avoid politics? Jesus. There's such a thing as the right wing of the Republican Party, but that guy's to the right of Genghis Khan. Look, I'm sure you can manage talking to him somehow. I'm sure Roger's got his good points too. So has a porcupine. Look, I do not want to visit your cousin. I'm planning on going fishing. And Jack was telling me about this lake that hardly anybody knows about. That's really great for fly fishing. Is it close to town? No, not exactly. It's out in the Chilcotin, but it would be no big deal to make it one day if we got an early start. Are we staying in a motel? Well, no. But Jack says that there's these cozy little cabins there, you know, kind of rustic. Wood stoves, kerosene lamps. We'll be frying fresh caught trout. Will there be other kids Julie's age there? No, but it'd probably do her some good to get her off that damn phone for a couple of days. Look, we certainly don't want to deprive you of your fly fishing, but you know, it's Julie's holidays too. You remember what it's like being a teenager? Other kids are your life. I don't want her to think that hanging out with her parents is boring. Plus, there's mosquitoes up there. Mosquitoes are no big deal if you use mosquito dope. Well, and that's okay for you and I, but you know Julie's got sensitive skin. And you said it was in the Chilcotins. Aren't there black flies up there? Yeah, I suppose there could be. Oh. And I've promised Eileen. I do not want to spend time with Roger. 
That guy is a complete and utter asshole. Look, I, I understand that you don't want to spend time with Roger, but can you understand that the backwoods might not be the best holiday place for your daughter? I do understand, but once I get involved with this project, this will be the only chance for any fly fishing. Isn't there somewhere else you might want to go that you could enjoy, that we could, we could all enjoy? Like where? I don't know, I guess we could come up with something. Mom's thinking Cannon Beach. In Oregon? Is that what you had in mind? No, certainly a possibility. I mean, we stayed at that great hotel on the way back from California. It's got a couple of great golf courses. Actually, that hotel was really nice. Oh, but I've forgotten the most important thing. I've already promised Eileen. Eileen, just tell her we can't make it. Tell her any damn thing. <laughs> tell her we gotta stay home and wash our cones. It'd be pretty embarrassing, but I guess I could Invent some sort of excuse. Okay. And then that way I won't have to force Roger on you. Okay, deal. No Roger, no fly fishing. Deal. That's my wife. <laughs> There's a life lesson for you, Julie. Do you want a happy marriage? You have to compromise. Gotcha, Dad. Lesson learned. <laughs>